फ्रेंड्स टू योर चैनल परीक्षा डट कम इजी टू लार्न इजी टू अंडारस्टैंड आई एम इंद्रनील एंड टूडे आई एम गोईंग टू डिसकस अबाउट इसरो सीविल टू थाउजेंड एट्टीन प्रिभिया इयर क्वेश्चन एंड सल्यूशन दिस इज द थार्ड पार्ट अब दिस भिडियो दिस भिडियो अल्सो यूजफुल फर गेट सीई डी आर डिओ एंड अदार स्टेट सार्विसेस इंजिनियरिंग एग्जाम्स एंड अगर मेरा ये भिडियो आपको अच्छा लगा तो प्लीज subscribe my channel and do share and also share your valuable feedback in the comment section to chaliye shuru karte hain bina kisi intezar ke the first question is the bearing of line xy is 195 degree and that of line zy is 255 degree 45 minute the included angle xyz is okay so before that we need to keep in mind a simple formula for forward bearing and back bearing the formula is back bearing is equals to forward bearing plus minus 180 degree when positive sign indicates forward bearing less than 180 degree when forward bearing is less than 180 degree we will use back bearing is equals to forward bearing plus 180 degree okay negative sign indicates when forward bearing greater than 180 degree that means when forward bearing will be greater than 180 degree then back bearing will be forward bearing minus 180 degree okay here in the question the back bearing of yz is equals to 255 degree 45 minutes that means forward bearing of yz is equals to here back bearing is greater than 180 degree that means negative sign will be used so hence forward bearing here you can see negative sign is used so hence forward bearing of yz is equals to 255 degree 45 minute minus 180 degree that is 75 degree 45 minute the included angle another thing the back bearing is equals to forward bearing minus 180 degree so that means back bearing equals to 1 195 degree minus 180 okay that means 15 degree here here the included included angle here this included angle xyz is equals to 75 Seventy five degree minus fifteen degree is equals to sixty degree forty five minutes. How we can calculate in a simplified manner? We will see. First of all, we need to evaluate the forward bearing. Back bearing is given of a line. Forward bearing we have calculated by as the forward bearing is greater than one eighty degree. So the sign will be negative. Okay. so we have got the forward bearing of that particular line then the included angle another back bearing we have got 195 degree minus 180 degree that is 15 degree so the difference of these two value is we are getting 60 degree 45 minutes so that's why a will be the right answer okay proceeding to the next question an imaginary imaginary line joining the points of equal elevation on the surface of the earth represents the correct answer the correct answer for this question is contour line okay now proceeding to the next questions the angle of friction is the ratio of friction and normal reaction the force of friction when the body is in motion The angle between normal reaction and resultant of normal reaction and limiting friction, and the last one is the force of friction at which the body is just about to move. The correct answer for this question is option number C. That means the angle between the normal reaction and the resultant of normal reaction and limiting friction. Now 
नेक्स्ट वन इज द पाथ ट्रेस्ड बाई ए प्रोजेक्टाइल इन द स्काई इज द कारेक्ट आंसर फर दिस क्वेश्चन इज पैराबोलिक पैराबोलिक पाथ ओबेज इज द पाथ फलोड बाई द प्रोजेक्टाइल इलिप्टिकल अ स्मल बडी इन द स्पेस ऑर्बिट्स अ लार्ज वन इन एन इलिप्टिकल पाथ एंड कैटेनरी इज द कार्व दैट ए हैंगिंग चिन और कैबिल एज्यूम्स अंडार इट ओन ओट्स वेन सपोर्टेड ओनलि एट इट्स एंडस सो हेयर द पाथ ट्रेस्ड बाई ए प्रोजेक्टाइल इन द स्काय कारेक्ट एनसार उल पैराबोलिक प्रोसिडिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन If the whole circle bearing of a line is 145 degree, its reduced bearing is. The correct answer for this question is is 35 degree E east. Whole circle bearing of a line is 145 degree. There are fourth quadrant, four quadrant as we all know, and 180 degree is the if we take it is as a clockwise. Moment or clockwise direction, so then it will be in the second quadrant. That means 180 degree minus 145 degree, and the angle is near about to south and east. So that means 180 minus 145 degree. It is 35 degree reduced bearing, and the direction will be it is near about south and east direction. So that means is 35 degree E. Okay. The representative fraction one by one eight double zero means that the scale is. The correct answer for this question is one centimeter is equals to eighteen meter. That means R F equals to one by one eight double zero means one unit one unit dot one unit on map represents one eight double zero units on ground. Therefore, one centimeter on map it will be. One eight double zero centimeter or ground that means equals to eighteen meter. So proceeding to the next question. The true meridian of a place is the line in which Earth surface is intersected by a plane through. The correct answer for this question is north and south geographic poles. True meridian of a place is the line in which Earth surface is intersected by a plane. And it is through the north and south geographic poles. Two meridian passing through a station on surface of Earth, and it is imaginary line of intersection of plane passing through geographical north-south with Earth surface. That means two meridian कहाँ पर pass किया जाता है? It is imaginary line, and ये pass होता है geographical north and south. That means poles. Okay. The next question is. Removal of parallax in a theodolite can be achieved by focusing. The correct answer for this question is the objective and the eyepiece. Parallax refers to apparent movement of image relative to the crosshairs. Okay, and removing parallax involves two steps. The steps are focusing of eyepiece, focusing of objective glass. So, क्या हुआ? Removal of parallax. क्या होता है एफर्स टू अपारेंट मूवमेंट ऑफ इमेज रिलेटिव टू द क्रॉस एयर रिलेटिव टू द क्रॉस एयर अपारेंट मूवमेंट ऑफ इमेज एंड देयर आर टू स्टेप्स फॉलोइंग टू रिमूव अ पैरालैक्स द स्टेप्स क्या क्या है फोकसिंग ऑफ आई पीस फोकसिंग ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव ग्लास नाउ प्रोसीडिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द वर्टिकल साइड ऑफ ए डोर एंड विंडो ओपेनिंग्स प्रोवाइडेड इन ए वॉल आर नोन एज The correct answer for this question is jams. Here, C is the right answer. Here, jams can be defined as it is the side post or lining of a doorway or other openings. And here, question in the question says that the vertical sides of a door and window openings provided in a wall. And other terms are reveals. A reveal may typically be seen at the edge of Door or window, and rivet. It's a groove cut into edge of a piece of machinable material. Generally, we are using wood as a material in rivet. But verticals standard covering, especially for glass doors. So here the correct answer will be jams, as as 
it is the side post or lining of a doorway or other openings and now proceeding to the next question the least count of one year is the least count of one year that is s by n if it is denoted by x then it is x by n okay where x is the least count of main scale and n is the number of division taken in one year division if we consider it a direct one year okay then least count of one year will be x minus v v is the length of one division of one year and here n number of division one year division equals to n minus one main scale division so that means the least count of one year scale will be x is equals to s by n s is the least count of main scale and n is the number of division in one year scale so the correct op option will be option number b value of one division of the primary scale or main scale divided by the total number of division of the one year scale that means n here value of one division of primary scale that is denoted by s and total number of division that is n and this terminology is generally defined as list count okay and this is generally done or we will see in the direct vanya direct vanya okay so thank you for the today if you like my video then please share it and comment my video and how how can i improve my video and thank you for watching this video hope for the next video